let's take a look at how to divide fractions by whole numbers. Divide, simplify your answer, and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, we have 3 fourths divided by 3. Well, remember our rule when we're dividing with fractions is to multiply by the inverse, or another way to say that is to multiply by the reciprocal. So if you think of 3 as being 3 over 1, the reciprocal or the inverse is 1 over 3. Okay, and then we can of course multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Now, if you notice, we have a factor of three on the top and the bottom. You can cancel them now to make the math a little easier, and then it's already simplified to one over four. If you didn't notice, you could have multiplied across and said three times one is three, four times three is 12, and of course three over 12 would have reduced to one fourth anyway. But it helps, instead of multiplying them to get bigger numbers and then simplifying them back down to make them smaller, if you notice something like that where you can cancel the three in the numerator and denominator, it just makes the math a little easier for you to get to one-fourth. One-fourth divided by two. Okay, so our rule again is to multiply by the reciprocal. When you do that, the first fraction does not change, right? One-fourth is gonna stay the way it is. And then when I change my division sign to a multiplication, I have to take the reciprocal or the inverse of the second fraction. So think of two as being two over one, so the inverse of that is one half. And then now I can multiply straight across. On the top, one times one gives me one, and in the bottom, or the denominator, four times two is eight. Now, if you think about the meaning of this, right, one-fourth divided by two gives us one-eighth, well, dividing by two is cutting something in half. One-eighth is a half of one-fourth, right? Because if you were to take, let's say we had a pie or a pizza, maybe, and we had it divided up into four slices, right, one-fourth would be a pretty big slice. If we were to take half of that, if we took the same pie and we said, well now, we're gonna divide it up instead of four slices, we're gonna divide it up into eight slices. Well, one eighth is a slice that's half as big as our slice was for one quarter. So that should make sense that one eighth is half of one quarter. One and a half divided by three. When you are working with fractions, when you're multiplying and dividing, it's usually easier, easier to rewrite your mixed number as an improper fraction. So when we do that, the easiest way to do that is to say, well, one times two is two, right? So that's basically telling us the whole number part. We could write it as two over two instead of one. And then we still have that one half to, to add to it. So the one is two over two, and then it also has one half, so all together, we could write that as three over two. Now a really quick mental math way to do it is to say one times two is two plus the one is three, and then it's over whatever the denominator or bottom number was. But either way, you're gonna get the same thing. So one and one half is the same as three over two. And then we wanna divide that by three. Well, remember the rule when you're dividing with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal or the inverse. So three over one, the reciprocal or the inverse would be when we flip that. So we're gonna make that one over three. And then we're gonna multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator, right? Numerator just means the top of your fraction and the denominator just means the bottom of your fraction. Now again, you can multiply first and then simplify, or you can say, I noticed that I have a factor of three on the top and I also have a factor of three on the bottom. So I can cancel that now and get one half. Now think about this, we're dividing by three, right? So if we had, we said one and one half written as a fraction was the same thing as three halves. So if we have three halves and we divide it by three, it makes sense that we would get one half.
one and a half divided by four. Okay, well one and a half, we wanna make that an improper fraction. We actually just saw this one a moment ago. Remember we said to do that, one times two is two. So we can think of that as being two over two and then add the one extra, right? If this is the whole one is two over two, add the one to make it three over two. Okay, and these have the same meaning, right? One and one half has the same value as three over two. I'm just writing it this way. And then my rule is to multiply by the reciprocal or the inverse. So if this is four over one, the inverse of that is one over four. And then I can just multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. On the top or the numerator, three times one gives me three. And in the bottom or the denominator, two times four gives me eight. So I wind up with three eighths. Two thirds divided by three. Okay, well I'm gonna leave my first fraction as two thirds and then remember the rule is multiply by the reciprocal or the inverse. So three as a fraction is three over one. Remember any whole number, you can simply put it over one to make it a fraction. And then the inverse of that or the reciprocal is when you flip it. So I would make that one over three. And now when I multiply, I go straight across the numerator or top and I go straight across the denominator or bottom. So on the top, two times one that's going to give me 2. And on the bottom, 3 times 3, that's going to give me 9. So I wind up with 2 out of 9, or 2 ninths. 